Hey you guys, Rakesh Nicole here with another studio vlog. Um, coming to you today to present you with my prints. I have been um, going through some troubleshooting, trial and error, trying to figure out what paper I wanted to use, sizes, um, things of that nature to really figure out what I wanted and what I liked um, to present for my artwork and um, sketches, things. Um, that I wanted to put in the shop so I really thought about it and what appealed to me and what I thought others may be interested in as well um, so I actually went with um, square style prints just because simply because of the fact that I do a lot of portrait style art um, pieces as far as the people I draw or cartoons things of that nature the drawings I thought really would be flattered by the square shape um, so I went with a smaller mini print, which would be a four by four. Um, just in case you don't want to frame it, you just want to kind of pin it on the wall. I do that sometimes when I don't want to use nails. I'll just use a little tack and put things up. Um, I also like to use the binder clips. Um, those work as well. Um, so we have those little four by fours. Nice, cute, simple, and it will be very affordable um, if you're not looking to invest in a larger print. Um, or original art piece. I actually went with 8x8. Eight eight. Um, for me, the 8x8 eight eight looked really good as well. I really like the square um, shape and I love um, the pop of white from the border um, because I like to use a lot of color um, and boldness um, as far as the prints go. So it allows it to have that pop and it gives you that space so if you do decide to frame it. Um, it really won't take away from the pieces or the drawing um, and give you that freedom to kind of do whatever you feel like with it. Um, whether you want to leave it framed or um, unframed. And then I also did the 8x10s um, for me, which is just I wanted to have at least one standard um, size for you to pick from. Um, that way, you know, no trouble with, um, they offer a lot more frames nowadays um, for, for the square um, shape. But you know, if you're looking for a more traditional you know we have the 8 by 10 available so that way you can kind of mix them up and if you decide to kind of do a play on a gallery wall because I who doesn't love a gallery wall I have one up as well and I do a lot of different shapes and um, like to do a lot of different variations on um, the prints and things that I use for the gallery so um, sometimes I like to go framed or unframed and just kind of mix and match in sizes and shapes so these different types would work there. So those are some different pieces. Um, and with the art, actually for the paper, I chose a ultra premium photo paper. Um, surprisingly, it's by Staples of all places. Um, I love matte finishes. I think that allows the ink to really um, saturate the paper and really get in and make it a bolder print. Um, and really allow the artwork to pop. So um, I looked at a YouTuber um, that used this paper. I'll put a link below to that video. Um, and she just described it and said how good it was. And um, I have no problem with it at all. And I love um, the thickness. It is um, 230 GSM. Um, so it's not like cardboard thick, um, like a, I guess cardstock thick, but it's thick enough to be good for a print um, definitely a good weight no complaints there so again that was the staples ultra premium photo paper in the matte finish and I think for this I may have paid um, 25 20 dollars um, it's very affordable take a look and they come 50 sheets in a pack um, I also want to experiment in try um, to do stickers so I ordered some sticker paper from Amazon I went with Neato clear labels wanted to try them just to see um, if I could get a better uh, quality from the clear stickers um, I've been experimenting with some of the craft stores uh, clear paper so like the one for Cricut and um, other ones that be at Hobby Lobby, I'm on cheaper ones. And I want to go with a higher, uh, better quality paper so that I can actually have some stickers in the shop. So um, the Neato Clear Labels 
I went with I heard good things about their glossy paper it was a little bit more on the expensive side that I wanted to do just yet just starting out so I went with their clear label one first um, just to see how I like their quality in the paper um, and then for the vinyl paper glossy I chose three-way cut and I uh, just wanted to see um, it got good reviews and I uh, know a lot of people talk about the online labels uh, com, which I did order a sample from them so I'll probably experiment with them as well and who knows I may change paper I'm sure things may change along the way so just want to get started and get going um so those that's what's going on right now with me in the studio and I just look forward to continue to experiment and create more art and um, launch the shop so you guys can check me out um, the links will be below and let me know what you think Also, for you guys, um, naturals out there, or anyone that just likes to get their hair braided, I did my hair with the rubber band method. So, I actually uh, went through and parted my hair and put it into a bunch of individual small pigtails um, so that I could go back and use that as a part of the strand for the braids. And I did the um, three, three strand braid um, technique all through my hair. So, very quick and simple, easy to do. I um, actually did that myself. Didn't take too long once I got um, the hang of it and a rhythm going with the braiding. So 
I'm using 25 inch hair. I always get the pre-stretched antibacterial anti-itch just because my scalp is ultra sensitive to the braid hair. And if I don't use that, I'll be taking this out within days, if not at the most a week because my scalp will itch and drive me crazy. Don't know who has to deal with those struggles, but I am one of those people. So pay the extra money, get the pre-stretch, get the antibacterial anti-itch paper. I mean, paper. <laughs> Sorry, talk about paper, but hair. It will definitely be worth it in the end, and it allows you to speed up the process because the hair is ready to go. All right, see you later.